I always tell them, you know, all you have to do in these championship meets is do what you did to get there. We've had such a great, you know, regular season, and, and I think if we can match those performances, I think the real interesting part of the championship running, starting with the SEC, is going to be, you know, how do they manage the rounds? Because it's been two years, you know, since outdoors. We've had that opportunity because, uh, you know, indoors is a little different than outdoors. For some of our top performers, I think it's going to be, you know, they want to put themselves in a good position for the final. So, you know, they have to understand that, you know, you have to treat every single race that you're in as though it is a final. So that when you get to the final, you have that that advantage uh, as to where you're you're seated in in the uh, in the final. You know, and it's going to be fun to go to Texas A&M, brand new facility where we're going to have an opportunity to to compete. The goal has been for several years to try to become a more complete team. There was a time, um, maybe five six years ago, with if you were really strong in one event group area, you could actually make a run at the NCAA championship, but you weren't going to win the SEC championship. And I think in 2019 when the men won the SEC championship and the women were making a good run at it. I, I think uh, the, the staff worked hard to where we could get people in every one of those event areas that could go to the SEC and have an impact. And I think we can dominate in certain events, uh, but I think we can score in a lot more events than what we've done in the past. Uh, and then, of course, at, this, at the same time, our student athletes have made, have, have made what I consider to be some ultimate sacrifices, you know, throughout the year socially. And I think that's been a real challenge for everybody. Um, you know, we've we've preached to them about how important it is that that they that they not only stay safe, but try to help the people around them stay safe throughout the pandemic. And so it's been a real it's been a real challenge, you know, and and it's been it's been a big challenge for the staff, but I think even a bigger challenge for some of our support staff. The thing that that has impressed me is that the student athletes have been willing to make those kind of sacrifices throughout this entire pandemic year. You know, every team that I'm with, it's they're all fun to coach. But I think this this group is is um, maybe just maybe a notch ahead of a lot of the other great teams that we've had because they've taken full ownership of the team themselves. Uh, and I think when you have that kind of leadership within each one of those teams, I think the women help the men, the men help the women. There's a really a, a, a unique bond there. Uh, to where they're really doing it, not only for themselves, but they're doing it for LSU. And I've just been really proud of, of the support staff that we've got and how they've taken care of our student athletes and the fact that our student athletes have taken good care of themselves and been really good communicators. So communication overall, I think during these times has really been uh, the, the, the real big positive. I think there's gonna be a lifelong lessons learned from a lot of our student athletes. 